Now, one family that is hoping to have a happy holiday season together is the Russian family. Matthew Russian has been granted a pardon by Virginia's governor after his involvement in a car accident last year. His case made headlines after he was given a 10-year prison sentence. His family argues that his autism played a role in all this. Here's more on the case of Matthew Russian. Matthew Russian will soon be a free man, thanks to a conditional pardon granted by Virginia Governor Ralph Northam last week. The 22-year-old from Virginia Beach was sentenced to 10 years in prison last August after pleading guilty to two counts of malicious wounding and one count of hit and run for his involvement in two car crashes in one night in January of 2019. The second crash, so severe, it left 77-year-old George Kuzik badly disabled with lasting brain damage. Prosecutors in the case argued that Matthew was attempting suicide by driving into oncoming traffic. But Russian's family attorney told ABC News that the incident was an accident and that Matthew, who was autistic, was having an emotional episode caused by his autism during the time of the incident. He never intended to hurt anyone. The lawyer also says that Matthew was never evaluated for his mental state before his arrest or interrogation by police. Through it all, his mother Laverne fought for his innocence and his freedom, taking her battle to social media in a campaign to bring him home. We've got to bring him home. There has to be a way. Celebrities like Jamie Lee Curtis, NBA star Dominique Wilkins, and Beyonce's mother Tina Lawson standing behind Matthew on social media. The GoFundMe page Laverne launched has raised more than $114,000 to help with legal fees in his defense, and nearly 250,000 people signed an online petition calling on Governor Northam to free Matthew. The family petitioned for a pardon from the governor this past June. A conditional pardon was granted after a thorough review of the case. The partial pardon does not erase Matthew's conviction and requires Matthew to have a parole officer assigned to him for five years. He'll have to participate in supervised mental health treatment, counseling, and a substance abuse evaluation. Matthew also cannot drive for the rest of his life, though he is allowed to petition to have that changed after 10 years. He's also not permitted to own a firearm or ever have contact with the victims. If Matthew violates any of these conditions, he'll end up back in prison to complete the rest of his sentence. Virginia Beach Police and the Commonwealth's attorney stand by their handling of the investigation. Dana Kuzik, who was injured alongside her husband George, issued a statement to ABC News about the governor's decision that reads in part, he should never drive again. I wish him well and hope that he stays safe. However, the public needs to be kept safe also. Now George is a shell. He can breathe on his own and move his arms slightly, but that is it. We don't know if he knows us. He doesn't respond to us. His smile is gone. George is gone, and we miss him. Though the Russian family is overjoyed, there's still a long road ahead for Matthew to settle back into regular life. He's been dealing with medical issues impacting his vision and will require additional health care once released. But for now, his mom is happy that she'll finally be reunited with her son. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.